Hey, have you ever wondered just how tanky you can get in Minecraft? Well, in today's video, that's what we're going to try to figure out. For this video, we will be using the Paladin archetype for Warrior. Because, like, it's just the tankiest class out there, so it just makes sense. Okay, so the first and build for this uh, video is this one. This is focused purely on health. Uh, so it has 43k health approximately. And I got just enough upgrades on the tree to get Radiance, which will buff it up to 46k. Note that this is not free HP, this is just for raw HP. This is uh, how high you can get with raw HP with uh, non with non crafted items. No consumables, just a normal build. This is the second build I'll be showcasing for this video. Basically, this is the same build, but with tomes, with uh, more upgrades on the tree, all the way down to here. And also, I have all the skill points put into stuff. So the HP is the same. The EHP, this is when we're going to really start looking at EHP. So right now we're at 387k. And with Radiance, War Scream, and Mantle, that number goes up to 1.898 million, or 1.89 million. Uh, we could activate Brink, which will buff it up to 3.16 million, but since Brink only activates at and below 25% health, we won't be counting that in the uh, final thing. Honorable mention though. Okay, and he, starting from this build is when things really get crazy. So this is the final little product I have. It may not seem like much. Ignore the uh, diamond solar ring that's just there for skill points, though it does add a thousand health. So max defense, like max resistance, not max agility. Though, and I'll talk about that in a sec. Um, and then, right now, the EHP is 552k. This is with tomes, by the way, and a full ability tree. So, if you activate Radiance, 689k. War Scream, 861k. Mantle, 2.87 million. This is without consumables. Of course, there's also Brink, but like, that's only, like I said, only below 25% health, so we're not counting it here. So, with consumables, I have not done any of the uh, calculations. If anyone does do the calculations, just post it down below in the comments. And. If we look at some of the consumables, note that I'm terrible at crafting, so this is probably not ideal. For a potion, 15,000 and bonus health for 10 seconds. For food, 4,800 bonus health. For a scroll, another 4,800 bonus health. This is all just bonus health. I don't understand the ins and outs of EHP, uh, but I do understand that this amount of bonus health will probably boost the EHP by like about 50k at least, I think. It's, it's definitely more, it's definitely more. Just look at this thing, yet. Yeah. No way, it's only 50k. I mean, but it's some amount. And, okay, so... That's all pretty nice, but then it can be boosted even further 
using raid buffs. This is the Canyon Colossus raid. And note, so I'm not using the uh, Nameless Anomaly raid because it doesn't actually give as much health or defense buffs as the Canyon Colossus raid. The ideal situation here would be to get first the Monk upgrade for the plus 70 agility, effectively maxing out the uh, agility, and then and to get the uh, second and uh, tier 2 giant upgrade and the tier 3 giant upgrade for that extra 1200 bonus health. All of that combined, let's just plug that extra 70 agility into Wind Builder real quick. So, I just bumped it up to, that's 3.46 million. 3.46 million, and not including all the bonus health from all of these. So I would say, this is just a rough, rough estimate. But with all these buffs, it will probably reach 4 million EHP. So there's the rough answer to the question. And the most amount of EHP that you can get in Windcraft is about 4 million. Of course, this requires a perfect situation. Also, just honorable mentions. So over here in the ability tree, there's a couple upgrades that... I neglected because like they're not in the they're not in the uh, EHP calculations but still contribute to oh, Paladin being tanky for example rejuvenating skin gain back 30% of the damage you take as healing over 30 seconds and that is pretty much a passive damage reduction though it's not actually calculated in EHP. Uh, there's the second chance, which of course is basically a totem of undying. And so like, even if all your EHP gets uh, all your HP gets depleted, you you can just gain back thirty percent of it, heal back a bunch since HP regen and stuff. And if you have a healer. That would help too. And then, of course, there's also the brink of, uh, brink, brink of Madness. I mean, if we turn that on here, um, that's instantly up to 5.77 million EHP. And, you know, with the buffs, over 6 million, but that's only below 25% health. So at that point, your EHP will only be 25% of that, approximately like 1.5 million. Note that that's still really, really, really good, but it's uh, nothing compared to oh, the approximately 4 million with all these 